Hey guys, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. We just had a very peaceful protest. Yay. It was a nice time had by all, except for the androids who got shot. <laughs> they, they, I don't know, they didn't have much of a time. I, I just, I'll say they got shot. I don't think they died. I don't think that's a thing that androids experience. Death? Because yeah. they, they didn't they just really power live in down. the first place? Yeah, by my standard. All right. They are right. not dead. They are, they just are no longer active. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> this game has yet to convince me that these are actual people. Is what I'm trying to say. So many of the of Connor's episodes start with him sitting in the car while Hank is out doing something. <laughs> and I just wonder like how many of if there's any of them where I can just sit there the whole time and then it ends. I would guess that all of this is like it begins with Hank saying, "Stay here." Yeah, and then you <laughs> eventually decide, nah. Nah. <laughs> Which just shows. But it looks real cold out there, and I know I'm a robot, but I don't want to get out. I'm gonna. I like the warm car. Why don't you go deviate, Hank? Huh? He's a human. See? As far as I know. The, no, the immediate look on your face said that sounded weird. <laughs> you know it sounds the weird. The way you said it contributed <laughs> to its weirdness factor. Why don't you go deviate him if you know what I mean? <laughs> Some deviant behavior. <laughs> Some deviant art. Yep. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Oh. Uh. Is Chris okay? The Lord Marcus. Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. <laughs> he wasn't... I mean, technically wow. he wasn't in danger of dying ever, because I never had that. <laughs> Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing Ooh. test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Okay, I'm really excited Anybody about this. Anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. I'm really excited I hope he's to played see by Oscar Isaac. how you treat this. Yeah, I'm really interested in this. Uh, movie recommendation, um, Ex Machina. Watch it. If you are interested in robots and the Turing test. And, and Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac's in it, and he had... Oh, hey, look, it's Chloe! Hi! Hi. Why do you care, Fox? Connor I'm cares. Uh huh. And that's yeah. who I am right now. You guys should have seen how happy Fox just was to at see Chloe. At the main screen, I don't care. Please, but Connor does. <laughs> just okay. getting in character. Yep. <laughs> it's called role playing. Get well, then there. Connor wouldn't know the other Chloe, though. It would just be a person. He finds her very attractive. How does he know her name? A little He's a robot. You're, You're metagaming, Fox. He's a police cop. <laughs> Wait for the android. Let's look at some art. No, his name's Kamsky. His name is Art Kamsky. <laughs> oh, okay. Arthur Kamsky. Cyberlife founder, resigned 2028, inventor of Ethereum and biocomponents technology. What do we got here? Oh, yep, is that... She's the first robot. Amanda. Oh, AI professor, okay. At University of Cold. Nope, she's still a secret robot. Calling it still. <laughs> it's lying to us. Nice girl. Uh. You're right. She's really pretty. Connor does like Chloe. That's nice right. Place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Hank's coming around. He Hank's, is Hank's indeed having some growth, and I love it. Connor. How's it feel? I've already met AI lady. It doesn't raise any existential questions. <laughs> if that's what you mean. <laughs> right on the nose there, Connor. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Such as? Hot dogs are really good. But they're really bad for you. There was What's up with that? <laughs> there was somebody at my small group tonight who said, uh, 
sometimes I have hot dog dreams. And it's like, all of us are just like, what does that, that mean? That can mean so many things. She's like, oh, it's just bad dreams it. you have after eating a lot of hot dogs, and they don't really mean anything. We were talking about dreams being significant. Got it. And you're like, oh, okay. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> All right, let's go. What up, what up old sea bear, Mr. sea dog? I How used to have doing? hot dog dreams when I was a teenager. <laughs> I got really confused for a hey, while. how's it going? <laughs> what the? Several Chloe's. There are three Chloe's. What? Is, okay, a red-lined pool is awesome, but makes it look like you're swimming in blood. I know. It is it's really great, weird. Though. All right, jump in. Do some laps. <laughs> Just wreck this guy in swimming. <laughs> wow, you're bad at swimming. His feet become propellers. <laughs> They literally just spin around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a hidden feature. Nobody really knows. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. It does... This does remind me of uh, Ex Machina. Because, like, the creator of the android in that also lives in a remote location. Out in mm. the wilderness, basically. They're, like, having conversation with each other? Yeah. They're just Interesting. talking. Ugh, man bun. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Hey, that's cool in 2038 or whatever Anderson. it is. This is Connor. Yeah, it's 2038. What can I do? November 9th, 2038. Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. <laughs> deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. Now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Bag. <laughs> Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Not a great achievement then, isn't it? Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. I like it. Good what job, about Hank. you, Connor? <laughs> Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. Fellow human? Well, that's what you I mean, uh, what? <laughs> But you. What do you really want? Chloe looks pretty nice. <laughs> Software instability. What right. I want is not important. I feel like his hair is a little oh. messed up, and that's just a signal of his I'm sure you're familiar with the He's term not as perfect looking as before. Perfumality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple you to do. see. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. You're very creepy, Kamsky. Yeah, uh, no, it's, we need to arrest him for something. <laughs> he is also a deviant. What is we'll it find, <laughs> yeah, He's a we'll find a something to charge way. him with. We're a living being. He's very similar to Oscar Isaac, actually, from, from Ex Machina. He was a little creepy also. A little untrustworthy and kind of unstable. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Hank's just like along for the ride, apparently. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. <laughs> Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool. to you, Connor? Your investigation oh, man. or the this life is solid. of this I like this. But also, I don't. I'm. I am not 100% so either way. I'm so excited for this. 
an obedient machine. Okay. Here's my thinking. At this point, with that robot is not deviant. That's enough. But Hank has Connor, made we're significant change. Connor, and I would rather don't. be on Hank's side right now than this know. undeviated machine. Yes! Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> I want Hank. I I would rather have Hank continue his progress. Last chance to that in and of itself home. is deviant behavior, though. You care more so? about oh, this right. man's no, opinion. No, I understand yeah. that. He's clear. I mean, it, I get both because I don't actually. I'm not a deviant. Don't actually shoot the you thing. Prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. No. You saw a living being you want to come with me here? <laughs> you showed empathy. You're giving me a false choice here, my friend. You're you're placing this upon me. The me accomplishing my mission is on you, not on me, because you have the information. The war is coming. Need. Right. You are choosing to withhold. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? Let me see that gun again, and I'll stand up against my creator. <laughs> between two evils. Let's get out of here. Yeah, this guy's weird. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Oh, uh, we're gonna get the choice at some point to to Phantom Menace it, right? Where we shut down like the mother brain and all of them fall apart Why or something. Why didn't you shoot? That's gonna happen. I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. Things have that changed. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Oh, he's so okay? emotional. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Yeah, we're neutral. Yeah, yay neutrality. Look at you. You want Detective Dad to be your friend too? I do. Oh, he's clearly <laughs> he has made some he has made some good choices. He has. Oh, I love that chapter so yeah, that, much. That was good. It was real short but real to the point. I like it. I so obviously the the amount that you have Chloe. talked about your. Your indifference to Chloe in the menu made me wonder if you were going to shoot her. Well, at that point, she was just menu lady. By the way, look at the option just above that. Arrive with Hank. Oh. Arrive. Hank definitely could alone. have died at some point. Already. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. And if Hank hadn't been with me, I probably would have answered differently. Mm. My main motivation there was Hank's. What have you seen before? Have you seen... I, I have not seen Hank die before this. No, I mean, have you seen... Okay. Oh, yeah. No, as, I've absolutely seen somebody Chloe. pull the trigger. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, analyze portrait. Analyze painting. Talk to Hank. All right. If you that go as robotic as humanly possible, Connor dies all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so many Connors. All I right. I'm Connor 14. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. This is my robot partner. He just pulls out a laptop. <laughs> they ran out of Connor they, models. They said I couldn't have one anymore. <laughs>